Hey guys, Cassie TV here with another YouTube video. Despite my channel being completely screwed over, I will link some links in the description below if you guys want to check out what the hell happened to my YouTube channel. Also some links below the channel if you want to help out to get my channel back. Uh, we're going to talk about an Archmage BB build. It was a build that sparked up quite recently on Reddit. However, that build was quite expensive. It was using a Watcher's Eye Jewel with a recovery ES rate as well as uh, mana recovery rate as well, which I think would remove the clunkiness of this build. I decided that I was going to take a deep dive into this build and see if I could make it work with low budget. So I've changed the tree a little bit. I've made, managed to change the gear a little bit. So as you can see, for those of you with a keen eye, you can see that we're actually using an Apeps Rage for mana cost increasements. We're using a Voidbringer with mana cost increasements. Not too expensive. An Ivory Tower, a cheap best crown on the Inward Eye without a specific enchant for PV. A Tears Foible, very cheap, as well as a Prism Garden, very cheap. The rings are shit. Uh, the belt was pretty cheap as well, as well as the boots. And we're using Rumi's Concoction and the Tears Promise instead of a Bottle Faith. And the build is only using one Fevered Mind. And Fevered Minds are currently, let's check the price for these. 40c maybe? 30c, 35, so about a little bit less than 40 chaos. So I only use one right now. Obviously, you can just gather a bunch of jewels, search for your cobalt jewels, and just smack a uh, corruption, sorry, vol orb on them if you want to, and you will eventually get one. They're not too common, not too rare. So we have um, two right there, for example. I got a couple of jewels there, so we can corrupt them just for fun. Uh, boom, got nothing, 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 okay. So they're not too expensive to get, um, but I would definitely consider buying uh, the Fever Mine to be somewhat expensive. So I try to keep the buddy down a lot. I've changed the tree a bit. I'm going to show you the tree real quick. I believe his version that we saw on Reddit went down to Foresight and picked up Dreamer. I went for the Throat Seeker instead, and a few other notes have been altered. I will, of course, link this PB in the description below. So... Uh, I'm going to show you a map with this. My issue with this is that the build is very weird. It has a very, very weird playstyle. So basically, you use Arcane Cloak to proc Arcane Surge, right? And that burns your mana. You want to cast Blade Vortex with Unleash. That burns your mana because right now they only cost 2.3k mana per cast. But you only want to cast them when you have three charges. And then have an enduring mana flask to help out with the mana region to bump that up as much as possible. As long as you cast every time you have three charges, you'll be fine. As long as you're hitting enemies, your mana region will actually keep going. However, if you're standing on chaos, uh, sorry, desecrated ground, or if you're taking chaos damage, your mana will kill you. Because the only reason you're able to be low life with ivory tower is because chaos damage is taken from your mana pool before life. So if I were to use Arcane Search, uh, Arcane Cloak, and Blade Wards right after one another, I actually go down to zero mana and then go up. But I only have 46 unreserved life. So I have to be very, very, very careful uh, when it comes to going, uh, dropping my mana when it comes to chaos damage orient um, minions on in the field. So I've died several times for not keeping track of having actually having mana, which is rather frustrating. And then you still need your, your blade vortex up. Now, recovery rate of ES for leeching and recovery rate of mana uh, helps this build a lot. But one of those Watcher Side Jewels costs at least three to six Exalted, if not more, if you want both modifiers. But for the sake of showing it, I'll show you what a Watcher's Eye cost with just the ES recovery uh, from Clarity. Mana recovery rate, well affected by Clarity, I think it's 3 or 4x or something, might be more. It's down to 2x. I feel that if I want to keep the budget down on the build, um, I would obviously will feel inclined to actually buy one of these to make the build work. Uh, and it would feel a lot better. But you'll see how clunky the build looks. Uh, once you see the build up and running. Damage is kind of there, it's not a big problem, till you get to single target where the mana recovery would actually do quite a lot for the build. So all I have to worry about is actually taking chaos damage. I'm gonna pop this delirium as well as I'm showing you the build. And it's not too bad, it's kind of okay. The build feels pretty good to play, but I felt it was very clunky. I uh, the wrong loot filter active actually, but whatever. Uh, we're not going to loot too much anyways. Um, so as you can see on the top left corner, you can see my BV stacks going up. Uh, they're on 8 right now, they're on 10. So I'm actually can sustaining it quite well. But any sort of enemy that deals chaos damage is going to be... Oh, there we go. Okay. Lack the damage to go through there. Let's do this again. 
Not sure if I died to chaos damage or not, actually, I actually don't think so. Alright, let's drop the delirium, since this is only level 85. So we shouldn't be doing this in general at this tier, or this level. Um, since we're a little bit low level for a tier 16 map. Either way, we're going to continue showing the build so you just feel for it. I felt it was rather clunky. Here, with a shield charge, feels good, right? It looks good, it feels smooth, and as soon as you start casting and you get drop your mana, it's fine. But as soon as you drop the BV stacks, then it turns really ugly in terms of efficiency. Because you want to use your Arcane Surge through Arcane Cloak, which burns your mana. But at the same time, you want to keep up the blade count as well. So it's a very, very weird playstyle. And I must say that I wasn't too big, too much of a fan with this. I think that if I did another, another Archmage build, I would probably just do what most people are doing right now, which would be a Stormbrand build. I know this build can do very well, and it's fun to be low life without a Shaz, I must say. I've always been a big fan of low life builds, um, but I've always done so with using Shavs. So here's a single target, I'm going to show you this real quick. As you can see, the damage is there as long as I have blades up. Now luckily this one has some adds we can kill. So let's see how smooth this is going to go for us. And then go in for this one. Step away a little bit from that. And here the damage is kind of bad. As you can see, it's even killing me. And it's not only having turbo, that's about it. And this is basically because I'm not able to keep up uh, a good stack of blades due to lack of uh, mana re re recovery rate. Which of course the Watcher side would sort to some degree. And I could also use uh, more damage through having better approach of um, something like uh, more Fevered Mines. So this is my biggest issue with this build. Obviously we are level 85 doing a tier 16 map, so we should be doing lower tier maps. And if the build will perform, that's not a problem. You just gotta level it up a little bit and you won't be having that much of an issue with it. And getting more Fevered Mines would obviously increase the damage you're doing per uh, stack of blades. So the build should be fine to do once you level it up. Uh, my problem still remains though, and it's the fact that even if I do tier of maps that I should be doing with this current level and current gear, uh, it still felt very clunky. So I'm gonna leave a link in the, below, uh, in the description below for you guys to check out. Uh, I'm personally not a big fan of it because of the clunkiness it promotes, uh, but the clunkiness can be sorted with enough currency invested. But as most of you guys know, I do promote, promote low budget gear. Or low budget builds and this one is a little bit higher budget i try to keep it on low budget uh, but things like this that you can see here having energy shield and still dying because of chaos damage was something i was actually mostly annoyed with what happened here was me using blade vortex so i burn my mana pool and then i take a couple of hits from enemies doing chaos damage which went through my mana pool and then dropped my life which is only like 40 or 50 hp so this is one of the biggest concerns I have with this build. And because of this, it felt clunky because I felt forced forced to always have a bunch of mana. So I didn't want to use my Blade Warders unless I had full mana pool. Didn't want to use Arcing Cloak unless I had full mana pool and all of these approaches. And in that sense, I kind of lost stacks on my Blade Warders. Even worse would be bosses that dealt Chaos damage would be pure bitch to deal with. But that's my personal take on the build. It works perfectly fine if you just invest enough currency with it but I wasn't very happy with how the build turned out in the end. That's about it. We're going to be making a Spellslinger build next, so check that out. Let me know in the comments below what you guys feel about this build, and um, I'll keep you guys posted on my Discord and Twitter, on my YouTube channel situation. Until next time, boys, stay safe and keep rocking.